say that you were in the HDR vault during the first treatment of an HDR, the entire treatment was delivered, how would you estimate the dose that you received? Does the source strength matter in this case? What is the air kerma rate for I-125 and palladium-103? And then what are acceptable tolerances for brachytherapy in terms of positional and temporal accuracy, as well as the source calibration and the dose calculation? So this is somewhat of a tricky situation here. So the first thing you could say, well, you would look at your radiation badge. Well, okay, maybe that's true. But if you wanted a right now, what is a quick calculation to determine this? One thing that the afterloaders do provide, which is really nice, is a air kerma rate. It's abbreviated AKR. Now for iridium 192, that is equal to four millicurie, or I should say four U per millicurie. And so then if we are going to assume a 10 curie source, which you know, you want to be, you know this exactly. Of course, this is a hypothetical, but let's just say it's 10 curie to make math easy. Then at one meter, because remember your units of U, at one meter, you are getting four centigrade per hour. And if you were one meter away, you know then the time that you treated, because again, that is something that is also recorded. You can determine how much dose you received. So does the source strength matter? So this is a bit tricky because if you deliver the entire fraction, it does not matter because whether it takes eight days or eight minutes, if you're still only delivering 200 centigrade, that's all that's going to be delivered. The time does not matter. The source, source strength does not matter. But it would matter if you were only treating a partial fraction, then it would come into play. But in this case, since we're just saying the first treatment overall, then it doesn't matter. So what is the air karma rate for I-125 and palladium-103? So just because of this answer to the first question, we could see how useful it would be to know a rough estimate of the air karma rates for a bunch of different brachytherapy sources. So for these, it's really nice if you know what the numbers are when you do your exam, if you throw these numbers out and it's gonna really impress the examiners. It's something that's next level that will really help you get extra points and get those fives on these questions. And so that is a one millicurie uh, equal to one U for palladium and I-125. And then finally, what are the acceptable tolerances? So for positional, we want it within one millimeter. Temporal, we want within 2%. Source calibration, we want within 3%. And dose calculation, we want within 2%. So if you have any questions, comment below. Thank you for watching and happy studying.